up guys welcome to an episode of spam me we're kind of like episodes behind because of the weeks so welcome to the tommy oliver aka the rare man the man the myth the legend aka the first ever season guy who got all your combos off is returning into this game in 2.0 so let's go over his talent tree we have a two four six eight ten fourteen sixteen 18, ooh, 22, 24, 26, 28% damage pool, okay, 28%, 36%, 40% extra on strike damage, which is good, that helps out the Udana assist when this tree is actually maxed out, so that's actually really freaking good, take a look at that health pool, we got a 2, 4, 6, eight, 10, 12, <laughs> We got 12, 14, 16, 20, 22, 26. Okay, he has a 26% health pool and a 40% strike damage pool. And a 32, and an actual, yeah, 30% strike pool. So let's get this started with our spammy with Tommy because he's going to be our combo mm -hmm. starter and pretty much in it. We're going to be using a good amount of characters with them in 20 minutes. So what Tommy gives you guys is more of the combo potential for some of your air games. Good with Gold Zeal. Good with even our boy Trent. But I'm going to be using him with the Udana Assist. Because Udana Assist gets you that nice freeze tech. And Tommy can do the kick. And Trent can do a lot more where that comes from. So we're going to be tackling V2. This sick bastard with his V2 stuff. Get him with a punch. Hit him with a freeze. Spam the Tommy Assist. Free! Now, and then him with a freeze. I know it's like a spam freeze and Tommy freeze. Oh, I did a dash punch. I'm so pissed. Well, I'm kind of pissed about that too. Okay, ultimate Tommy combo after Trent. Okay, I was supposed to dash. Hit him with the arrows. Slice. All right. Can we win this? Okay, Tommy. Udana. Udana. That's fine. Of course, he had the shield. GG's. Because Trent's Drago Salt needs to be faster, and that'd be great. Good game. But I do like the Utami Udana. In this episode, pretty much you'll see Utami Udana go back at it. Because I actually do like this team, and this team needs that new meta support. And this team gives a lot to a lot of the characters that are even weak in damage, but can still mm -hmm. let them do what they got to do in battle. Especially, this is my go-to team for even Black Dino Thunder. Because Tommy, giving that extra couple percent on damage is nice. But, you know, it'll depend on your assist setup when you do use Tommy. You can use him with Kimmy, but I appreciate the Udana assist for all of her worth and damage output. So it's good. So let's fight up our freaking Lord Draken and get to work. Tommy vs. Tommy. Tommy in the dang comics. Wow, seriously? Get way too many shields, guy. And with that Tommy assist, hit him with the energy orb, fire, and then all that stuff goes down for free. And just tell him to freeze. Tommy assist. Draco assault. <laughs> Draco assault, I mean. Ju Jurassic burned. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now I got some ultimate tech about to happen with some freeze. Make him rise. Make him rise. Goodbye. Black Dino Power! Yeah! And I especially like this assist setup for Black Dino Thunder in general. Tommy Assist and Udana Assist were kind of like the next pair of assists to start using with your characters. They do give a lot of help and they are full screen tech combos and they only cost, wouldn't you know it, three. And that's when I did the Black Dino video with Tommy and Udana because they do help each other out, especially Tommy giving extra strike damage to Udana's freeze attack. So we're just about to start seeing like Udana's freeze at least hit a mm. thousand damage with Tommy's talent tree maxed out. I'm definitely gonna try to max his tree out next because I'm almost done with Udana. 
So Tommy, you'll start seeing more in these assist spammies and so on and so forth. Like Tommy is the go-to combo starter. He has always been the go-to combo starter, especially for a character named Trent. And with Don, you know, getting that freeze in, getting into the Tommy, you know, you don't have to worry about Kimmy doing stuff. You can get pretty much everything just from that. So we're fighting Ninja, and we all know what we gotta do against Ninja. We gotta freeze and spam that Tommy assist for free. And thanks to this new meta, this new like me meta where we can do anything we need to do. Oh, I thought I would have had a block. Alright, now Tommy's charging up. Seriously, you shouldn't have this much time to like recover. And Tommy spam. This is legit a spam with just freaking core egg. It's funny. That's why Kimmy needs to go up to a four. Wolf attack. I mean, you can do wolf attack even after Udana. It's like whatever. He did a spam me too. That's fine. Ninja still gets way too many blocks. We gotta fix that random gen number generator on that guy. Just saying. Like, even his energy recharges fast enough for him to recover from even these assist attacks. Alright, next character that can use the Tommy assist is none other than Movie Red. Because why not? Movie Red loves this shit. Movie Red likes that little combo starter. And it only costs three, which gives Movie Red mm. more tech support on Tatsumaki Senpaku. Or even better, his... Com his roaring thunder combo where you know he just like punches and just just punches <laughs> you can do a shoulder tackle too if you want but that's why Tommy's here he's pretty much your combo starter he gets things done and Psycho Red versus in this matchup depending on what we got here yeah no get frozen even though there's a Tommy spammy video You know, you can just freeze, play some football, hit him with a Tommy assist, and all in that order. It's nice. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Okay, what the fudge was that? These characters getting these double blocks is driving me nuts. You can do a dash forward. Go into a Roaring Tiger combo, which is awesome. Yeah, he's getting too greedy with those Psycho Dash. Play some football if you want. Got a Tatsumaki here. For some reason, he's getting shields more than I do. I don't know why he got, like, so many fucking shields. Makes no goddamn sense. But yeah, that just happened. Good game. He got more shields than I did, and I'm a balanced. Is this logic? I don't know if this is logic, anyway. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's just me, man. That's just me. Now, Master X, we actually haven't done in any of our videos in a while, so we're going to start playing them now. Um, how Master X works is, you know, we always had the movie Black and Tommy, but you can do mm. the Udana Tommy, which is kind of like a safe bet in a way, where, you know, you get the Frozen, then Tommy, you can go into his Nylock combo if you feel like it. It works out in the end for Xandra, because Xandra needs more strikes since he has Breaker Tech. And he doesn't have a lot to work with after that. So using Tommy and Udana can really set him up for greatness and do a lot more stuff. Well, against all this stuff, we'll have to see what we can do. The fact that he did that is crazy. Like, seriously, the fact that he pulled this off is just stupid. And he can do a Tommy. And with that Nylock combo, that free-ass damage... Do some freeze, and then you can do another Tommy if you feel like it. Dash forward, and with the Nylock. Yeah, that's why I freaking love Tommy, just for that secret tech. And I hate that freaking damage output, it's so gay. Yeah, freeze, go to sleep. While you're frozen, just sleep. Good shit, Xandrid. Good shit. Double block mana don't phase you like that. Good shit. So Xandra could use the power of Tommy and Udana with the power to freeze. Use Tommy. You can go in your Nylock combo pretty much twice from that. Or do another Tommy kick in this nice little spammy episode. Now, let's put our boy Sledge into action. Even though he's not going to have enough HP, we'll still play our boy. 
Just Tommy Sid sets up a lot of combo potential mm. for a lot of these characters, and that's what we like about them. Sure, you can, but you have to like stand still in order to block them. But that's pretty simple and easy. That's why his nerf ain't coming anytime soon because he's a normal assist that costs three. Not busted, not too quick. It's a, a really good balance. So let's give our boy Sledge in there. See what we can do against Robo, Robo Weeb. So I got shoulder tackle. Hit him with that freeze. Hit him with that shoulder tackle. Hit him with them shots. Those are free shots. Hit him with that freeze if you want because freezing is important. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to do that. Hit him in the air. That's good tech right there. Oh no. Good bite. Just freeze him. Tommy assist him. Freeze him again. This is why it's called spammy. We're spamming. Freeze him again. <laughs> Uh, fun times, guys. Shoulder tackle. Shoot him with some guns. Sledge is godly. Oh, no. I'm going to regret that. Because that's going to be free shots. I'm surprised he had enough energy for that, believe it or not. Doing the robot. Doing the robot. You got a block? I'm kind of shocked. Do some shots, which is fine. Oop, nope. I'm legit shocked he had another shield ready. I'm shocked. <laughs> Good game. Well, Sledge can use the Tommy assist to go into his gun combo, into his breaker combo, into his strike combo, pretty much anything you can think of. And Udonis just gives him that edge to do more damage with Tommy, and so on and so forth. Now our boy Wes, obviously you've seen this type of assist. I actually try to use this type of assist in action, but you know I've been using Moving Black. But Wes and this kind of works out in the end too, because, because Tommy only costs three while Moving Black costs Four. So when Tommy does it, you can go into Quasar mm. combos very easy after Udana does a freeze into Tommy into Quasar combo, giving Wes more of his combo potential than ever before. I know we got a lot of time for this, but you know, you got to make sure you time your assists just right because timing is key. Yes, I'm still going to do time puns when I play this character. Get used to it. All right, so we got Blind Out Thunder, Black Ranger, ready to roll. Do a little freeze tech, awesome. And with some kicks, and with Quasar combo. All right, time strike, I mean. Oh, you got a shield in time. Tommy, Tommy gets stuff. Ah, good spam me, my friend. Time strike. Yeah. Oh my God, Wes, please. Don't do this. Time strike. Slash. Do some slashes if you want. Rain up down on Thunder Black Ranger because it's worth it. I barely got to spam my Tommy yet. He doesn't have another shield, so this is pretty much just Wes in action. Slice, GG's. <laughs> Good game, Willie. But you can see, like, once you go into... I didn't even get my shield after that. That was kind of funny. But in the end, Wes is not so trash after all if you just have the right assist help. All right, next character, guys. Um, Lord Draken... Also, really kind of good with this. How much time we got, guys? All right, we got like a good couple minutes. All right, let's keep rolling. Lord Drac and Tommy mm. Udana is actually really OP, too, if you think about it. One assist only costs three. Pulling off one of those things gets you to do any combo you feel like it, especially a breaker combo. Tommy sets up Lord Drac pretty well for that too, stuff, too. 
Tommy doesn't give you extra breaker damage, but you know Lord Dragon kind of takes care of that himself when he levels up his talent tree. So here we go, fighting Udana. This makes sense. Oh my god, I backdashed though. I backdashed! Okay, so he wasted a lot of energy, which is fine. He tried to Tommy me. Did not work out. So I spammed him back. Nope, sir. My turn. Fweeze! Oh no. You see, once I got screwed on that, I knew it was over. So hit him with the freeze, hit him with the Tommy. Ooh, look, another shield because attackers get tons of shield tech. And freeze. And give him a little freeze tech. Do some breaker damage. Yeah, no, now he's not going to be able to freeze again. Okay, he got another freeze because why not give him more freeze tech? Makes sense, right? Oop, he got me. He can freeze. GG's. <laughs> All he had to do was go full combo and would have won. Ah, that's how he laughs. Sorry. <laughs> But again, Tommy Udonisus set him up for breaker combos for free, so Lord Draken becomes more OP. Alright, let's just give our boy Daishi a shot at this, because why not? Um, believe it or not, I can see to Tommy's talent tree and Udonis' mm. talent tree kind of complement Daishi in a way where all of his strike damage does go a little bit higher than usual. So, I'm not saying this is a good Dai... I mean, it is a good Daishi machine uh, team in regards because one thing is sure, once you do Phantom Beast, you can do Freeze Tech and then you can go into your Sakata Blade combo or you can do Tommy go into Sakata Blade combo. There's so many things you can do. So, we're about to try to fight up a Ninja here. Oh, you already had Deceptive Dash ready. Yeah, he can't predict that. Trying to get the spam going, but I need a block, folks. Oh my god. No, the one time I had a block. Goodbye. Hey -ya! And Daishi's still better than Ninja. He kicks ass. Obviously, that was going to happen, regardless. Wasted another shield. Got another shield. Not really getting any spammies here. Gets another shield because why not? So annoying, but how dice she would roll with the Tommy assist and Udon assist since my shield was kind of on my one important slot that I was trying to spam with. Tommy kick, Udana stuff, do a Phantom Beast combo if it works. You can freeze him in the air and go into Phantom Beast. So many things you can do with that. Um, Gia, believe it or not, has good potential with this type of an assist team with Saber Whip. And when you freeze, you can go into your breaker, into Saber Whip if you feel like it. If you Tommy Kick, you can go into your Saber Whip if you want to. There's so many things you can go off from, from these two assists alone, which I do mm. appreciate this new kind of an assist meta team I'm trying to work on. And I think it'll come out great once Tommy's talent tree does get maxed. Just, just theories, but... I think it'll be a great team setup, believe it or not. So, let's get some more matches in. Let's see if Gia got what it takes. Salty run back, dude. Let's go. Tommy assist spam. Let's go. Pop him in the air. Freeze him. And then do a Gia Saber Whip combo. Awesome sauce. That was cool. I take pride in that. I take pride in my combos, guys. So you Tommy, oh my god, I missed the skeet shot, but that's fine, I'll freeze him. I, I did miss the skeet shot, though. Nah. He thought. He thought, though. Don't make him think too much. Okay, that was my accident. That was my accident! Ah, oh, fuck you! Nah, you can chill. Then you can summon Tommy... Going to Gia's gunshot combo right after it, because now stun gun is actually good. Now you can chill. Going to Saber. 
Spam that Tommy. Oof. We got combos. We got combos. Just in with that freeze. And another. And another. F oh, my. F that lag, though. That lag, though. Wow. I just want to say, guys, I won that match. That lag legit fucked me in the end. Good game, by the way. Gia won. I don't even care what that scoreboard said. Gia legit won that match. Now let's get to a more OP type of character that can use Tommy, which is White Ranger Tommy. Because, God, all these threes, mm -hmm. you can just do anything you want. Oh, and Faint Rush would work instantly, too, after you do a freeze. Ooh. Tommy, baby. Tommy. I'm telling you. Works. How much time we got? All right, let's do like five more minutes, guys. I'll give you five more minutes because you know. Oh, we got more Tommy assists. I'm glad everyone's getting hyped for it. Then you can go into flying kicks and go into a little freeze tech, which is great. How are you not powered up that assist? What's wrong with you? Oh, he wants to lose medals. That makes sense. And with a Saba throw. And that's why White Ranger Tommy will forever be OP. I don't think he was really playing for serious, so we're going to play another White Ranger match. And since Tommy Assist only costs three, White Ranger can do more with Flying Tiger Kick if he so chooses. Because anything after that is kind of Gucci. And when you have the Udon Assist, you can actually go into Faint Rush full combo. Because mm. once Tommy kicks, you freeze him in the air, and then you can go into Faint Rush for free. And you got all that good, good damage. It's fresh. It's fresh damage output. That, I am not going to lie to you on. It's OP. It's really OP. Tommy with just three assists alone, three cost assists alone is OP. Flying Tiger. Did you think I would let you do that? Oh my god, Ninja, you beat out the freaking flash kick. I'm shocked. Get hit. Alright, come on. I need my assists. You're you're like killing me here, Ninja. Oh my god, can you please hit me with a strike? There we go. Damn it, another shield. I hate you, game. Stop giving me shields that I don't need. Like, seriously, dude. Stop giving me shields I don't need for this spammy episode. Okay, you guys get the gist. Just use Tommy, go into Flying Tiger combo, use Udana, freeze him after you do Tommy's kick, and then you can go into Faint Rush for free. Next. Jesus, I hate that crap, man. Don't like it. Now, obviously, you know we have to do the Coda. Coda always has to get shown some love because he doesn't get enough at home. Mm. So let's give him some love today. Um, Flying Tiger comp. Yeah, Flying Tiger. Flying Kick is going to help Coda go into at least his Capoeira combo, I think. I don't think it fully combos like it used to anymore back in the day. Wish it gave up more air, but nah, Coda's still going to be stupid. So I recommend doing some freeze tech while you're doing the spams. So we got Daishi. All right. Oh my god. I bet You know what? I bet Daishi has a shield right now, too. Dead ass, I bet you he has a shield. See? I told you, he had a shield, man. Wasn't kidding. And he had freaking Black Dragon ready to roll. And with that Tommy kick, going to that Coda Breaker. Yes, free spams. Wow, the fact that he went full is crazy. 
You're you're crazy. The fact that you're going full is crazy. And with that confusion, you're getting way too many shields, you guy. I'm actually getting confused. Tommy kick, Udana, him with that shield. Yeah, I wasn't going to let that fly. GG's. <laughs> Good job, Kona. Beat up that lion. So yeah, Tommy assist, you know, costing three, going into Udana for some freeze tech, get some energy back. Always helps your characters get pull off even more combos than before. Go, Zia. Which reminds me, actually, since thank you, Zio, for that song. We got to try out Gold Zio with this. Now, how can this benefit Gold Zio? Right now, Gold Zio breaker mm. damage is already good enough. Now, adding extra strike damage to his damage output is even better because once you get the airs and golden pulse, those damage outputs will rise, giving you more power. That's what the Zio crystal was for, to give you more power. Especially with Udana and Tommy helping you out doing your strike combo. Yeah, I think you're going to be just fine. So here we go. Fighting the meta. Here we go. Gold Zio. See you in action, boy. Oop, get that sweep. Yep. You can just do a Tommy kick afterwards. Okay, so he used up one shield. That's a fact. And with the Tommy Kick, going to Golden Pulse for free damage. I love it. I'm going to take this. I do not care. He's not doing much. If he wants to waste all that, that's fine. He has to gain all that energy back. And then spam him again. GG's. Freeze. Ugh. Freeze. GG's. Gold Zio. And that's another thing I like, because if you hit him with the time kick and freeze, you still go into Golden Pulse and pull off the ultimate damage. Still works. I just appreciate Tommy and the Udana team. It just works for everything that can't go wrong, you know? All right, let's give our boy Andro some time. How much time we got? Oh, my God. It's already been 27 minutes. Jeez. All right, we'll make it 30 minutes. Let's make it a 30-minute video because the Tommy assist is really godly and it just really gives the characters these combos that people are looking for in a character. Um, we'll probably do, like, one more match after mm. Andros, but after that, we're done. And especially when Tommy does do his kick, you can drill easier, too. Again, another great assist with him. And Tommy's giving you extra strike damage on drill, which, after you do the Tommy kick, gives you more damage. And since, and, 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 and since we got strikes on all of his first attacks, we are going to be Gucci for the rest of the video, you know? Drill, drill, and do a little freeze. I hate that flash kick guy so much with a burning passion. That crit is nasty. Oh, of course Tommy got a, a shield. It makes so much sense. And then just Tommy assist. Then do a gunshot to get a shield. It'll work out in the end. Oh, my Udana, but whatever. <laughs> See, the point of that was, since you have a shield in the first side, once you Udana assist, you can go into Tommy assist, into the drill, very easy with Andros. Another combo you guys would love. Now let's get to our last character, and then we're kind of done. We kind of overshot it on this video, but Tommy does give a lot of potential to a lot of these characters that really people look forward to, and that's what I liked about him the most. Oh, my God. To be honest, I can use it too. Uh, Tommy kick into Udana into split personality works very well. Udana assists in Snide's Breaker. Mm. That too works very well. Now let's get this match started and finish strong. That's what we're going to do. We're going to finish strong like we always do, guys. Ah, all right. So let's see this in action. Snide. First ninja, all right. I'm gonna trap ninja in her corner. Let's see if I can do it. Freeze, buddy. I'm 
Of course he had that. Why didn't I think he did not have that? Of course he had another shield. Seriously, what the fudge? And spam your assist on this ninja or little bastard because that's all he plays. Really? And again with the Tommy. Going to that snide combo that you all know and love. And freeze. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Tip, tip your YouTubers. Thanks for watching our little Tommy Udana kind of spammy. Where Tommy is still the main person of this show. And does a lot of good combo damage in general. I'm anyway, guys, my boy Will Thunder Ranger, and I am signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed that nice spam me today.